From Studio A on the Ohlone Fremont campus, this is Ohlone Tri-City News. Featuring stories about our neighbors in Fremont, Newark, and Union City. Good evening and welcome to Ohlone Tri-City News for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. I am Vincent Torres and now the news. Caltrans has rescheduled the closure of northbound I-680 between Sunol Boulevard and Bernal Avenue to this weekend. The closure will start this Friday at 10 p.m. and will reopen Monday at 5 a.m. There will be California Highway Patrol officers and portable message signs to guide motorists. Southbound I-680 will remain open. Caltrans thanks you in advance for your patience as they work to improve I-680. The H. Wells Center at Fremont Lake Elizabeth hosted their only fundraiser of the year Friday, February 17th. Here's Anna with the story. On Friday, February 17th, the Agewell Center at Fremont Lake Elizabeth held its only fundraiser of the year for its two lunch programs. drive through supporters purchased 130 crab dinners and were greeted to the sound of live ukulele players while picking up their generous helping of crab and all of the fixings. The in-person event served 125 attendees at the Agewell Center and included a festive atmosphere complete with an all-you-can-eat crab dinner. Generous sponsor support, the raffle, and drink sales brought in over $28,000 alone. The final tally is still taking place, but the AWC at Lake Elizabeth thanks the entire community for supporting this fun and delicious event. We have a heartbreaking story for the skaters. More information about the closure of the skate park right after the break. <sighs> If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Recently, the western U.S. has averaged more than 1,900 earthquakes and 3,800 significant wildfires each year. So chances are, there will be more of both near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The Fremont Central Park skate park will be closed starting Monday. It will be undergoing maintenance and infrastructure repair. The park includes a street course and bowl features and is open dawn to dusk when open. The construction will continue until the end of April. For updates on the project and other park closures, visit Fremont.gov and click on Parks. A local Humane Society partnered with the Alameda County Library to give kids a therapeutic reading experience. Here's Kaya with the story. A therapeutic and cuddly approach to reading practice made its reappearance in Fremont last Wednesday at the Fremont Main Library. Therapy dogs Hannah and Sophie, who are both certified by the Ohlone Humane Society, visited the library branch to help kids gain more confidence when reading aloud. The event, titled Read to a Dog, invited kids to bring their favorite book for a 15-minute time slot with one of the pups. Although the event is open to all ages, it is mainly for local youth to have a judgment-free zone to perfect this lifelong skill. If you missed last week's event, the library hosts a new session on the third Tuesday of every month from 4 to 5 p.m., for more information, visit aclibrary.org and look under the Events tab. This is Kaya Johnson for Ohlone Tri-City News. Here's Nick with Entertainment. Thanks, Vincent. Following up from last week, Cocaine Bear just finished its opening weekend, and it currently stands second at the box office, only below Ant-Man and the Wasp of Quantumania. Reviews are calling it very entertaining, maniacal, and surprisingly hilarious. Just be prepared as this movie is quite the gore fest. Be sure to catch it in theaters now. If you didn't get a chance to attend the Creed 3 special premiere event, no worries, the wait is over, as Creed 3 officially releases in theaters tomorrow night. Starring Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors, this movie also marks Jordan's directorial debut. Critics are saying Sylvester Stallone's boxing movie franchise is left in good hands with Michael B. Jordan, calling the film stylistic, with clean fight choreography and terrific acting. However, some say the film is a bit formulaic and predictable. We've also got quite a few pre-sale movie tickets available now. Tickets for the highly anticipated John Wick Chapter 4 are available today with the movie coming to theaters March 24th. Tickets are also on sale for Scream 6 and Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Scream hits theaters March 9th and Shazam! opens on March 16th. Fast X, the 10th installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, 
also has tickets on sale too, way ahead of its May 18th theatrical release. The Mandalorian Season 3 just had its Episode 1 premiere last night, and reviews are amazing, raving about how this is a fresh breath for Star Wars, calling the episode a great one, with nice pacing and some enticing setups for the season to come. You can catch The Mandalorian over on Disney+. And in the world of music, we just got a brand new album from the virtual band Gorillaz. Titled Cracker Island, this album marks the band's eighth studio release. The initial album came out last Friday with 10 tracks, and then the band surprised fans with the reveal of the deluxe version just this past Monday, with an additional five more songs. The Gorillaz album features numerous collabs with guests like Stevie Nicks, Bad Bunny, Tame Impala, Beck, Thundercat, and more. Buy the album in stores now or stream it on most music platforms. Back to you, Vincent. Thank you, Nick. Coming up next, we have the Chicano Art Exhibit is showing off the creative vision. More information after the break. Regardless of where you are on your path to retirement, you can still take charge of your financial future today. Visit aceyourretirement.org and answer a few questions from Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. For free tips, resources, and advice customized for your situation to help you feel confident and prepared for retirement. Retirement looks different for everyone. Make sure you're prepared for your financial future at aceyourretirement.org. Nonprofits, businesses, and institutions can apply a part of $1.1 million in grants that will be used to increase community involvement within Alameda County. Applications are due on March 3rd and grantees will be announced on May 18th. For more information, visit stopwaste.org. Come celebrate St. Patrick's Day early with the Shamrock Shindig. There will be Celtic music, entertainment, silent auction, green beer, raffle, and of course, corned beef and cabbage. The event is this Friday, March 3rd from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Niles Veteran Hall. Tickets cost $50 a person. For more information, visit niles.org. It has been 50 years since colleges have offered Chicano studies to students. Here's Vivian with the story. A Learning College is celebrating 50 years of Chicano studies. To celebrate this breakthrough in education, students and staff have created an art gallery filled with documents and photographs of the curriculum's history, as well as a mural painted by current students. A Learning College was one of the first schools to offer a curriculum based on Chicano culture and history. To join the celebration, visit the Louis Meagher Gallery in the Smith Center on Ohlone Fremont Campus. It is open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Mondays to Thursday through March 16th. This is Vivian Hong for Ohlone Tri-City News. Now here's Anna with the weather. Thank you, Vincent. Today, San Francisco reached a high of 51 and Oakland reached 50. Let's take a look at tonight's low temperatures. Tonight, the lowest temperature will be in San Jose and Dublin at 39 degrees and the highest will be in San Francisco and Santa Cruz at 48. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow, the highest temperature will be in Morgan Hill at 59 degrees, while the lowest temperature will be in Santa Cruz at 52. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. As we can see, most of our days will be partly cloudy, while next week we may see some rain. That's it for this week's weather. Back to you, Vincent. Thank you, Anna, for the weather. Keep your eyes open. Our men's basketball story has been cooking lately. More information right after the break. Julie was always a, a voracious reader. She carried two novels on an airplane because she'd read one on a three, four hour ride. And at some point, I began to notice that she would read a page and couldn't remember what she had just read and she'd have to go back and read it again. I don't remember much these days after I read, but less does for me and I love it. Oh, 
Here's Garrett with the sports. Our uh, men's basketball, uh, baseball team went on the road to take on Skyline College. They lost in the blowout game, ending the five-game winning streak. They were unable to come up with runs and were unable to stop them from scoring runs. They got uh, they get a chance to uh, get back in the win column against West Valley tomorrow 2 p.m. The final score against Skyline was 9 to 3. A fantastic basketball team finished an unbelievable season, losing the first round of the playoffs in the in the CCAA men's regional tournament. Uh, Ohlone uh, Renegades finished with uh, 18 wins, 11 losses on the season. They lost 72 to 66 against Boot College. Josh uh, Neil Sulu scored 21 points to lead the way. A women's tennis team was supposed to go on the road to play uh, Cabrillo uh, College, but unfortunately was postponed to a later date, March 21st at Cabrillo College, 2 p.m. The upcoming match against uh, Monterey College will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you are there to show support. That sports back to you, Vincent. Thank you, Garrett. That's all for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Please join us live next Wednesday starting at 8.30 p.m. To recordings of this and other shows, visit olonitv.net.